Welcome to my 200th video on my work with OO Gauge. A significant number, but a fairly insignificant video, I'm afraid. This will just be a short part about something I did this morning to fend off disaster on my Hornby 003 rail tabletop railway. As you can see here, I had the tracks going very close to the right end of the table. And worse than that, I had points there right at the edge of the table, and 003 rail points are rather prone to causing derailments, especially when you're messing around with conversions and running rolling stock not really meant for 003 rail, as I've often been doing. Well, I've actually had locos derail on those points and pitch right off the edge of the table. Fortunately, the models fell on something soft, old boots, basically, so no damage was done, but the situation was looking like a recipe for ongoing trouble that was inevitably going to break something eventually if I didn't do something about it. So I cogitated as I was going to sleep at night, as I often do, and came up with a fairly simple idea to fix this situation. I had some leftover pieces of the foam tiles that I'd used for the top surface of the table, and I figured that I could make an effective safety wall for the end of the table from one of those pieces, which hopefully wouldn't look too out of place, even if it wouldn't exactly be pretty. I took one of the tile pieces and used a marker to mark off the length I would want for the wall, running from the edge of the shelf extension past the points, down to level with the end of the outside siding. I also marked the height I would want for the wall based on having the bottom of the tile piece level with the bottom of the table top, and the wall sticking up a couple of inches above the table top, which should be plenty to stop rolling stock falling off. I took the tile piece back to the bench and marked off a square line for the cut to length. I used a metal straight edge and a craft knife to cut the piece to length. I also cut off the bits at the other end, which were intended for connecting one piece of tile to another, which didn't apply in this case. Then I also cut the piece to height. I had to go and find a longer metal straight edge in order to make this cut. I put a strip of two-sided carpet tape along the edge of the table, that's 3M uh, or scotch, I beg your pardon, carpet tape, which I find pretty useful stuff. Pulling off the backing of that tape, I used the tape to hold my wall piece in place at the height I wanted. Then I drilled through with a pin vise level with the edge of the black tiling on the tabletop itself and put brass screws through the wall piece and into the edge of the tabletop tiles. I figured that this should be enough to hold the wall in place and resist the impact of a model falling over and hitting the wall. Here's the wall scene from the tabletop side. Not exactly beautiful or scenic, but it pretty much blends in. And here's a loco going over the points past the newly fitted wall. I think I'll definitely be less worried when taking trains round that end now. That loco is the Trix Standard Class 5, which I've been working with for quite a while now, trying to persuade it to run reliably on my 003 rail track. I'm getting closer with it, although I'm still not sure I'm going to be able to get it to run as reliably as I'd like. Further attempts with this loco will likely be the subject of my next video.